So y'all, it's your boy eBay Fight Predictions in the building, and I'll be recapping your UFC Vegas 26 card. Uh, I did stream the card. I told y'all do a fight companion. Hey, Angelo Cass, how y'all gonna tell me to do the? How you actually? I'm not gonna say y'all. How you gonna tell me to do the thing? You're not gonna pull up on the stream, dude. But uh, it is what it is. It's okay. I'm just <laughs> I'm just playing. Um, yeah, decent card. I, I didn't have a problem with it. First stream went well. Uh, obviously the Wi-Fi. Wasn't my best friend, but uh, it is what it is. <laughs> but um, yeah, we had fun, man. I uh, actually did all right on this card. Went uh, five out of nine. Not the best. I wish I would have done a lot better. But um, it meant fun card. You know, the underdogs did their thing, and it is what it is. Um, but we started off the card with my boy Christian Aguilera versus Carlson Harris. Christian, Christian, Christian. We gonna need to, we we me and you need to talk. How how you gonna how you gonna shoot on the jujitsu? Like this guy is known for his submissions, and you gonna do that? I don't know if he got hurt. That's what I'm hoping happened. I think he got hurt, but come on, Christian, can't be doing that. Got choked out with the anaconda choke, looking crazy. Uh, and then you know. It is what it is. It was pretty quick. Carlson Harris looked pretty good. You know, coming off that, uh, what's it called? What's that shit called? Uh, Dana looking for a fight to go out here and do that to a guy like Christian Aguilera, man. What, I mean, crazy knockout power. I mean, it is what it is. Uh, then uh, Jung Young Park fought to find uh, No Squee. I think that's how you say his name. <laughs> You know, people be hyping these dudes up, telling me to find this and to find that. Park isn't even that good, and Park went out there, bloodied this man up, made this boy look like George Floyd. Had <laughs> this boy looking crazy. And y'all telling me this guy is a future champ? But it is what it is. Uh, to find is five and one. You know, nothing against the cat. Obviously, he's fighting someone with more experience than him. And he dealt with the takedown. I thought he did all right in the first round, but he lost a point, you know, because of nut shots and stuff like that. So it is what it is. So, yeah, Park got it done by decision. Ludovic Klein uh, versus Mike Trezano, man. I mean, Mike Trezano. I mean, two years off, looked amazing against a well-rounded fighter, good kickboxer, good Muay Thai fighter, has a lot of good skills. I mean, a lot of head kick finishes. Destroyed Shane Young. I mean, and Mike Trezano went out there, walked him down, and had his way. And watching that just gives me a lot of faith, hope that my boy Shane Burgos can do the same thing. And, uh, you know, Tiger Showman's 1 0 right now. They're about to be 2 0 after next week. So uh, good on them for getting the W, man. That's a big win for Mike Trezano, man. And the. This next generation is just looking so like these guys are always getting so better, man. I just, I was, I, I really, really proud, really proud of these guys. Um, and it was, you know, this, this. If I was gonna rate this card or this show, it was easy. It was quick. It's quick night of fights, and it got to the point. And yeah, I, I didn't. It wasn't a bad night, so I, I would say, so I was to rate it. What would I say? Um, I would give it an eight. You know, the main event wasn't too bad. It wasn't as boring as I thought it was going to be. Uh, Phil Hawes versus Kyle uh, Dawkins. Phil got it done with the blonde hair. That I should have known, man, with when he came out with that blonde hair, I should have I switched my pick. He's trying to learn from the GOAT, Derek Brunson, because Kevin Randleman, he passed it down to Derek. He didn't pass it down to any of these other bums. He passed it down to him, and now Phil trying to, you know, take off his shine. So uh, it is <laughs> it is what it is. But Phil got it done. I was really impressed, and uh, he won the fight. So good on Phil. Uh, next up, man, Gregor Gillespie versus Carlos Diego Ferreira. Gregor finished it. I mean, Ferreira, like, wow, like, amazing. Really fun scrap, by the way. These guys were going at a really high pace, and he, Gregor basically broke him. Gregor's going to go up in the rankings. I want to see... And this is how we know if Islam's legit. Islam Makachev versus Gregor Gillespie next. I want to see that fight next. I think Gregor can beat him. 
I like Islam too. I really do like the kid. I like him a lot. But you Dagestani people think y'all you, you think American wrestling, huh? Easy, huh? Y'all think it's easy. We we gonna see. We gonna see, man. We gonna see. I think Gregor can beat him. I think Gregor can really beat him, but it is what it is. Great fight, great finish, fun fight, uh, and it is what it is. Then Maurice Green versus Marcos Ruggiero de Lima. I wonder why this wasn't on the prelims, but it is what it is. De Lima held him down. Maurice Green didn't do nothing. Got a 9 and 7 ranking now and looks like a bum. <laughs> but it is what it is. Uh, nothing really much to talk about. Good win for De Lima. <laughs> and then that boy, Neil Chiesa. I told y'all, Michael Chiesa doesn't raise losers. We saw that Kiesa proved that Magni was his son in their last fight. Obviously, y'all didn't see it, but I saw it. Kiesa was in Magni's corner, and he was teaching his son how to win fights. And he went out there and taught that boy, Jeff Neal, a lesson about the jab. And Magni went out there and did his thing. I told y'all, Magni's better than this guy. This guy has, you guys talk so much about these calf kicks, these leg kicks. And I'm like, when has Neal ever thrown those? He's thrown body kicks. He's throwing high kicks. I've never seen him throw a fucking leg kick in my life. And y'all was bringing this up like he's Ponza Nibia or something like that. So it is what it is. Magni went out there, did his pops proud. Y'all need to put some respect on Kiesa name. I'm, I, I, I'm going to keep saying this, y'all. Because if y'all keep disrespecting him, he might get the strap. He might, he might get the strap. But hey. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> and then uh, at the call main event, oh, this was super sad. Alex Morono knocks out Donald Cerrone, man. And I said it in my breakdown. If there's any place uh, where Morono can win this fight, it has to be in the first round. He has to go crazy. And he has to go out there and try to knock out Cerrone. And, uh, man, I, that was insane watching that, seeing him get TKO'd like that. But, um, it is what it is. You can't really say nothing about it. I'm just happy. I'm happy three out of the four fighters, like, you know, out of Gregor Gillespie, um, Neil Magny, and then Marina Rodriguez, all won. Obviously, you know, I really wanted those four guys to win, but it is what it is. Can't be mad at it. So, uh, good on, yeah, good on Morono getting the finish. That, that, that puts Morono in a really good spot. I mean, he loses to Pettis, but knocks out Cerrone, which is crazy. But it is what it is. Uh, then, yeah, next fight, Marina Rodriguez versus Michelle Watterson. I mean, good performance uh, by, uh, what's her face? Marina Rodriguez, she looked really, really dominant. She looked good in the clinch. She looked good everywhere. She looked good in the stand-up. Takedown defense looked a lot better, but she did get taken down. I thought she lost only one round. I had Marina winning Four out of one, um, not four out of one, four out of five. Uh, I had it four one. And yeah, you know, Michelle Watterson was talking crazy in the media saying, bro, like, I can't wait, you know, for my rematch against Rose. I'm so close. And, you know, come on. Like, <laughs> like come on now. Hey, that ain't happening. So, um, yeah, Marina Rodriguez looked really good. I would love to see Marina Rodriguez fight Joanna and Jay Chick. That would be an awesome fight. Uh, she she's a good striker. She strikes a lot different. She she hits with mean intentions, and yeah, good fight for Marina. And that's it for your recap. I know it's a little short, but I gotta go watch that Billy Joe Canelo fight. But it is what it is. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, follow me on my Instagram. Follow me on my Twitter. It's your boy eBay Fight Predictions. If you're new, by the way, subscribe, like, comment, uh, share the video. Let's get this eBay Fight Prediction Nation growing. Right, let's share it, and it is what it is. Love y'all, and go.